Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so what I'll do today, I will talk about a flow uh, functionality, which is the transform functionality, which is in beta phase at this stage. Um, I'll show you how it works and some of the capability, right? Because it's useful um, for you guys to know, right? So often, I I'm just going to create a... Uh, a, I'll, I'll create a simple flow, right? And using that flow, I'll demonstrate how it works. So what I'll do, I will go to flow. So here's what I'm going to do. When I create an account, right? I want the contact to be created automatically behind the scene. That's all I need. That's a simple requirement. You create an account, a contact should be created. Uh, get the uh, last name from the account name and link the account ID to the account ID in the contact. And perhaps, you know, the revenue field, we can move it to the contact description to say, hey, whatever, right? So just to give you an idea about the functionality, right? So the first thing first, right? Uh, you just need to log into your org, uh, go to the setup and go to the flows here. And, and you go to the new flow. And so uh, you can use the transform functionality using screen flow, record trigger flow, auto launch flow. These three, using three flows, you can use that functionality. Um, the transform is very, it's, it's a very simple functionality, right? Transform, the name itself can tell you, right? If you wanted to, you know, create something and transform it, you can do that using it. So I'll show you what I meant by that if it doesn't make sense. At this stage, so I, I I pick the record trigger flow, and it's so I will choose an account, right? And I'll keep it account is created. That's just pretty fine. And actions are related records because what I do, I mean, you can use a fast field updates, but that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to update and perform actions like send an email. Um, I just, you know, that's pretty much it. I wanted to do for now. Um, so I'll do here, I'll say account contact flow, um, account contact flow. It's always a good practice to write the description, right? Because I've seen so many flows <laughs> with no description. Right? It's, it's kind of annoying at times. So now you go here, right? And you just look for transform and which is in beta face. So I'll just say transform account info uh, to contact um, you can you can just copy this one yeah uh, so the source data you go here I'll choose a record which is the account yeah now I wanted to map it to a contact right so I'll do here I'll do contact so you can the define the data type as an apex defined types uh, i'm not sure if you've used apex defined types it's just you go create a class file and in that you define your type and you can use that here and i mean depends right if you have a complex uh you know requirement you can use uh, apex uh defined type because sometimes what might happen is that you might want to populate you know different so that that that's a uh, option and if you want some collection you can do that collection as well but we are not doing collection we're using a sim single record at this stage so what I'll do I'll do a contact um, so and so what I'll do I will need uh, so I wanted to map the, the name first of all okay let's map the ID first right I wanted to you click here yeah and you will scroll up and I will say account. So, and that's there. And now uh, we look at the name. So I'm right there, name. So obviously, you know, you cannot create a contact without the last name, right? So it just so just put the last name here. And so these are the two simple things, right? Now, I just wanted to show you some functionality, right? You can add a formula, or you can use a formula 
in this transformation. Now that's pretty simple, like I'll show you a very dummy example, but it makes sense. So I have an account of annual revenue, right? I wanted to uh, pass this annual revenue to, let's say, um, let's say, I mean, it may not make sense for you at this stage, but I mean, let's say a two description, right? So I'll choose it here. Um, sorry. Okay, just close here. I'll say annual revenue. Yeah, and I'll put it to description. Oh, come on. For some reason. <laughs> choose here. Annual revenue. Um, and I'll choose description, right? Okay, it's linked. Now, you must be wondering, okay, but you just now spoke about the formula. Where is the formula, right? You click here, you click there, you can't find anything, right? So what do you do? You click on the description here. Now, you have two options. If you if you wanted to uh, not associate these two fields, you can delete the association, or you can go to the formula field, you can go here. Um, it's pretty simple, the formula field, right? So I'll copy this here, and I'll cut it. All functions, so I want logical functions. So I'm, I'm looking for if. So what I'll do if um, equals to null, then I'll put it as say um, something like annual uh, revenue is null. So don't waste your time with this contact. I'm <laughs> just um, and or um, you just put it like you know contact this person right. So and I'll check the syntax. So what I'm trying to do right if if your annual revenue is null, so to say, don't waste your time with this. Person or you can contact it. It's just a funny way to do it. But now, obviously, you did a transformation, right? You need to create um, a record. Um, so obviously, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create a contact, yeah, and one record because we're not doing any collection. And this is the output variable you get from this transformation, and you save it. So. It is a pretty simple flow, right? As you can see, um, it's a record trigger flow um, initiated on an on an account object, and we're doing a transformation. So transformation is pretty simple. Um, we are transforming some of the content from account to a contact record, right? A couple of fields we mapped, did a formula field, um, and I also showed you how you can delete. A association between the two fields and the contact obviously you know you as a good practice you need to add a fault line I often tell people you know you should do that but right now I don't have anything to show but if you see any flow right but uh, if especially in the DML side of things and there's no fault line that is not a good practice so um, yeah okay now I will activate it, yeah? Okay, so that's a very simple flow, right? Now what I'll do, I will go to um, account, yeah? And let's create an account. So new account, so any account name you can say, you can say the Dave account, Right, and all I care, I don't care anything about it, right? So I just do save. Hopefully it saves. Okay. Now we got a contact. Voila. So let's look at the details, right? And so contact this person, obviously that didn't work because obviously this is not a null um, detail. Um, some reason that didn't work. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. 
obviously. Um, there is some issue um, at times. It uh, so what do we do? So if this is equal to null annual revenue, then it should do this. Hmm. All right. So uh, what I'll do. I'll just do, there is a function called is blank. Yeah, so I will put that expression inside this one. And okay. Hopefully this should take care of. Okay. Um, all right. For that, let's check the syntax. Okay, that's great. Um, I'll save it. I will activate it. Um, I haven't worked with the flow for the past six months. If I'll be very honest, uh, because I don't do much hands on these days. Because, you know, this is one of the problem uh, when you become an architect. You get to do prototype but you know when you get into more the strategic aspect because i do more strategic side of things you know look because i'm an enterprise architect enterprise technical architect so i'm responsible for architecture of the entire salesforce and, and marketing cloud the place where i do um so it's a government agency in new zealand so so i do have an opportunity to, to drive the platform uh forward in the right way but at times, you know, you don't get, really get an opportunity to get into the weeds. I am very hands-on guy. I love to do hands-on, right? Sometimes I try to find an opportunity to sometimes to do some kind of tiny pog um, to get into, uh, you know, build some of the cool stuff. But that being said, <laughs> for the past six months, I haven't touched the flow. So that's why I feel a bit rusty, But which is not really great, though, right? Because if you're an architect, you should keep on improving, right? So... Fortunately, these YouTube videos helps. Okay, so Steve account. Um, right. That's fantastic. So that's created it. And yeah, and a little bit new snow. So don't waste your time with it, right? So that takes care of it. So now you can see, right, what I was trying to do. I've transformed some of the information and propagated that to a separate object that is a contact object now this is a very simple demo right you can enhance it you can you know do based on your use case obviously it's in beta phase at this stage um so yeah so that's pretty much i wanted to cover in this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it uh and i hope you guys have an amazing thursday adios